Hi guys, I've collaborated with the author of PhiData, who is Aspreet Bedi, to give you that experience of developing a RAG application. So if we head over to this post where he explains sort of reading the PDFs, websites and web search, creating the embeddings using Olama and generating a high quality report on any topic. So if you have a look of this video, so we start up with a streamlit application and then we have the rag research we can drag any file here and then we can ask uh, questions to the uploaded files so it generates a report and you can see a pretty good report here with uh, sort of good headings good markdowns and the report is and the references as well Another example, we can change the web search to Tavili and now we can do web searching. So if you search for uh, Lama 3 on, on Grok Cloud, you can go and web search it and you can see this uh, Lama 3 on Grok Cloud uh, report on that with the references as well. So if you take this uh, URL uh, as well, we can paste this and we can ask questions on the uh, on the URL on the contents of the URL itself this is again the web search is enabled and you can get a response uh, with the web search and the knowledge base as well so this is the entire application now I am going to go to the code so this is a fully open source code you can try it out yourself now let's look at how we can try uh, the others uh, code uh, we can go to phi data so let me go to phi data here and uh, let's clone this code so we head over and copy this url we select an appropriate folder where we are going to work so i'm going to say cmd here on this folder here i'm going to uh, git clone the folder the entire folder which is phidata.git once we are there we are going to enter inside the folder where uh, this particular example is there so if you go to the cookbooks there are so many examples and we are we have decided that we'll go through each and every one of this example here and i'm sure that you will be able to find uh, use cases for your particular purpose but for this video let's go to this path i copied the path here and uh, first of all i say uh, cd to file data and then i say cd cookbook llms grok and ai apps so i'm inside the ai apps and now uh, i'm going to say code space dot enter this will open up the visual studio code editor and this is where we can test everything out so first and foremost uh, if you go to the uh, link if you go to the readme file and uh, see whatever things that that's mentioned so we have two things first is rag research which can generate research report about complex topics and then we have rag chat chat with websites and pdfs okay first of all you need to create a virtual environment i'm going to use conda here so go to terminal here open up a new terminal in this terminal, I'm going to check if we have any Conda environment. So Conda uh, info, I believe, dash dash ENVS. This will list up uh, all the environments that I have. So I'm going to work with PhiData. So if you want to create a new environment, this is how you do it. We say Conda uh, create dash N of uh, PhiData Python equal to 3.11 dash Y. Using this command, you can create a new environment known as phi data but since i already have it so i can say uh, conda activate and phi data so this will activate my environment here phi data so once we have that environment we're going to install the requirements.txt so i'm going to say pip install dash r requirements and dot txt so this is going to install uh, all of the libraries which are mentioned here now an interesting thing that you can learn is uh, you can have the requirements dot uh, in file where you can have all the libraries here 
now in order to freeze the version of the library uh, and create the requirements.txt file with a single command what you can do is pip compile and uh, put in the requirements.in file so this will create a requirements.txt file which has all the libraries with their appropriate versions with the present versions actually so this is very helpful for sharing your uh, code with others so that you have that same experience and and the same libraries getting installed in your local system when we run this requirements.txt file so this is done next step is we can we have to now export the grok api key now this command export that is for the mac devices but uh, since i'm working on windows we can do a set command so set then we say a grok api underscore key okay we need to put in the grog api key so for that you need to go to grog and go to the api access here uh, log in with your account and then you can go to playground on grog once you go to playground you can go to api keys here and make a new api key so i can say create api key here give some name and just click on submit copy this and go back to visual studio code so we have set grog api key equal to paste in the code and say enter okay this is done the next is since you're going to use a uh, web search the research assistant can parse website in pdf but if you want to use a uh, tavili search as well export your tavili api key i can get it from here so you go to this link then we get the tavili ai sign in with the tavili dot uh, tavili ai dot com continue with google uh, let me go with my gmail here so you can use other uh, google search uh, as well the uh, api keys but in this example we are showing the tavili ai so copy this and then we need to set the tavili api key as well so this is set tavili api key and put in the key so set tavili api key and then i'm gonna say paste that key and press enter so these two uh, are done then we need to install olama which is uh, to which is used to run the local embeddings since grok currently doesn't support the embedding so we need to use olama so we know how to install olama uh, we go to olama.ai and once you go there uh, we go to the downloads here we we can download for any of the windows linux or, or mac uh, i can go to windows and click on download for windows get it installed and then you go to search and search for olama and press enter so we have this olama running you can see the icon on the text bar on the task bar now what i can do is go to a cmd or better you can go to the terminal itself and now say olama olama this will open up uh, different commands that you can use so basically olama is running here and that's okay so we have olama running here the next step is to pull the gnomic embed text this is an embedding model so we need to use this model for the embeddings so first of all you need to pull this model from the uh, olama database so we have already pulled this and therefore this step is done next we need to install a docker desktop so we need to run and install the docker desktop uh, for windows if you are on windows we can download it from here i already have downloaded the docker desktop i'm going to run this uh, this will help me to run on docker so let's wait for the docker running <clears throat> in the meantime what you can do is you need to run this command so what i'm going to do is take this command here and make it in a single line so i go to uh, chat gpt and then i say uh, make this to a single line okay uh, we go to docker desktop and we see that nothing is running here 
so we take this command that we have seen here which we have asked to make it in a single line we take this command and go to the terminal and run it there okay the container name is already been used by some container so i need to delete the container first so let me delete all the container here which uh, i had run this earlier so i delete this and now we are going to run this again let's try now okay this is running as you can see here next what we need to do is go ahead to the instruction in the six point we can see streamlit run and the name of the python file is home.py so we have this uh, files so home.py is the file that we need to run this is the streamlit app main application here main uh, py file here so that's the home.py we are going to run the home.py in order to run that what you can do is stream lit run and then home.py so we run this this should open up the streamlit app on a browser and this is ready for inferencing okay so if we look at the code so this is the main code means the main home code and then we have this assistant py file where we have uh, two functions which are defined uh, define get rag chat assistant and then we have uh, define get rag research assistant so these are the assistant uh, definition and if you go to pages we can see there are two pages here the first is the rag research.py and then the rag chat.py so depending on where we select this which tab do you select we get different uh, displays for example rag research if we click here then we get the rag research page and this is running here so what we can do is we can select the llm here so llama 370 billion now this model is not running on my local system but is using the grog api that we have used so research type is we are using the knowledge base we need to put an uh, a url here so so basically you can follow the start of my video to see how we test this out so in this video we have seen how we can load up a file from the github repo you have been introduced with the founder of PyData, and it's an exciting library that we have we are going to publish more videos so stay tuned and have a nice day this is your host prompt engineer bye bye